Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nisa Surti. I am currently uh, studying interior design from Preston School of Design. I am representing Karachi, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honourable judges. My name is Mudia Iqbal. I am representing Scotland, United Kingdom and the lovely city, Faisalabad, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen and honourable judges. My name is Ramina Shvat. I'm 23 years old and I'm currently studying broadcast media at Florida International University and I'll be representing Sunrise Florida and Karachi, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed judges. My name is Sheena Osman. I'm an actress and freelance journalist. I'm from Brampton, Ontario, and I'm representing Kashmir. Now, judges, please focus on the next sheets that you have for the Mr. Pakistan World Contenders. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges. My name is Junaid Bhatt. I'm a fourth year student at Ryerson University. I am from Mississauga, Canada, and presenting and representing the city of food, love, and happiness, Lahore, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges. My name is Omer Sayy. I'm currently in the field of sales and marketing. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and tonight I'm representing the city of lights, Karachi, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. My name is Eamon Surdy. I'm currently in my last year of high school, and I'm from Markham, Ontario, and I'm representing the City of Lights, Karachi, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. My name is Faisal Hussain. I'm, I'm currently pursuing a profession in arts and entertainment. I'm from Brampton, Ontario, and tonight I'm representing a beautiful city of our beloved poet, Alama Iqbal, Sialkot, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. My name is Sarm Jaffrey. I'm a film production student at Humber College. I'm representing City of Toronto and the City of Arts, Lahore, Pakistan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. My name is Gus Khan. I am a full-time director, actor, and writer, and I'm representing Misaga, Canada. I'm also representing Lahore, best known for Bangra. Let's hear it one more time for our Mr. Pakistan contestants!
would make a better or worse leader of a country than a male. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. Thank you for the question. Do I believe a male would make a better president or prime minister rather than a woman? I believe in gender equality, and I believe that a woman is just, just as capable as any other man to be a great prime minister or president. Thank you. Aruba, your question for tonight is, what is one quality you would not tolerate in a boyfriend or a husband? I'll repeat the question. What is one quality you would not tolerate in a boyfriend or a husband? Thank you for the question. One quality I would not absolutely tolerate is double standards. For example, what's okay for me is not okay for you. I believe that uh, two partners, a man and a wife, should be equal and supportive of each other and help each other in that way. Thank you very much. Laila, your question is, should a title holder express their religious beliefs on a public platform? I will repeat the question. Should a title holder express their religious beliefs on a public platform? Thank you for the question. I believe one should never ever discuss about personal religion things because it's very, very personal question when you talk about religion. Uh, we are from different communities, different cultural backgrounds, and we are working and living in a global platform. So one should never ever. Thank you for the question. Nisa, your question for tonight is, how can you bring more gender tolerance in a male-dominated country like Pakistan? I will repeat the question. How can you bring more gender tolerance in a male-dominated country like Pakistan? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. Thank you for your question. I believe we can bring about more tolerance in a male-dominated society through education. Thank you. Medea, your question is, do you think contestants who have had plastic surgery should compete in pageants with contestants who have not? So I will repeat the question. Do you think contestants who have had plastic surgery should compete in pageants with contestants who have not? Thank you so much for the question. Um, do I believe if contestants that have had plastic surgery should compete in pageants with contestants that have not had plastic surgery? I would say I don't believe, I, I actually believe that no one should be discriminated. So if a woman has had surgery or if she hasn't had surgery, they should all have every equal, equal opportunity to take part in any pageant they do. Thank you. Ramina, your question for tonight is, honor killing is a common practice in Pakistan. How would you appeal to the government to take action? So I will repeat the question. Honor killing is a common practice in Pakistan. How would you appeal to the government to take action? Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and honorable judges. Well, first, what I would appeal to the government is to put out that they should be life in prison for something like that. And then the second thing I would do is reach out to those women who face that kind of abuse. And the third thing I would do was to raise awareness globally. Thank you for the question. Sheena, your question for tonight is, do you prefer to have friends of the same gender or the opposite gender? So I will repeat the question. Do you prefer to have friends of the same gender or the opposite gender? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed judges. In answer to that question, um, I can't say that I can pick a sex over male or female. I get along with both. I don't make my decision based on what sex they are. Instead, of I look at their personality, their qualities, their traits, and what personalities I gravitate towards. So in answer to that, I get along with both males and females. Thank you for the question. Thank you very much, ladies. Janae, your question for today is, is adultery any reflection for a leadership ability for a man? I will repeat the question. Is adultery any reflection 
for a leadership ability for a man. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for the question, Shayan. I think um, adultery is a reflection of uh, a leader elected as a, you know, a president. So I think because leadership begins at home, you know, honesty, loyalty begins at home. How can we expect someone to be a leader of a nation if they can't even, uh, you know, follow those values at their home? Thank you. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the father of our nation, taught us to be a secular nation but a Muslim majority. Do you think that concept still exists in Pakistan? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. Thank you for the question, Shayan. Uh, from the past few years, Pakistan has become more secularism in the world. And I guess I do believe that still exists in Pakistan. And also the color of our country flag, white, also represent the minority of non-Muslim in Pakistan. For example, Jewish, Sikh, uh, Muslim, and, uh, Sikh, Muslim, and Hinduism, and Christianity. So yes, that's still a part of Pakistan. Thank you. If you were to be rejected by a girlfriend, how would you handle it? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges. For me, I'm a firm believer in the power of positive thinking. So if I were to get rejected by a girl, I would not let it get to me. For if you let people or things make you feel a certain way, if you give someone that kind of power over you, you're not going to be very happy. And for me, happiness comes from the inside. And I focus on, you know, just surrounding myself with people that I like to be with and just focusing on all the positive qualities. So, therefore, I won't let it get to me. And oftentimes in life, rejection is a stepping stone to greatness. If you look at the greatest people alive, they've all been rejected. So thank you for your question. Should prostitution be legalized? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges. I believe every woman should be respected equally. This is a taboo that has been going on for centuries. It is a profession by circumstances, not by choice. And I personally wouldn't want my daughter to come and ask me what is prostitution and if she could have that as a profession. So for that reason being, I think and I believe prostitution should not be legalized. If you had to choose a female Pakistani role model, who would it be and why? I will repeat the question one more time. If you had a if you had to choose a female Pakistani role model, who would it be and why? Good evening ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. Thank you for the question. Uh, and definitely Benazir Bhutto uh, because uh, she was the first female Prime Minister of Pakistan and uh, she set a great example that uh, you know uh, women are not any less than men and she, she has big contribution to women in government like in Pakistan and overall. Thank you. What is the biggest challenge for young people today? Good evening ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. Thank you for the question. I believe uh, that the biggest challenge that young people face today is education. Be it the lack of education, lack of opportunities, or just having um, an unsuccessful education system. Thank you for the question. We will now be presenting the contestants with the subtitle awards. And to announce the subtitle awards, we will have Hassan Bhakti and Iftikhar Khan. These awards will be presented in five categories. Um, our next award is for Mr. Personality. This is awarded to the contestant who shows the most positive and fun-loving attitudes towards his fellow contestants. And this year's winner for Mr. Personality is no other than Umair Sayed. Thank you, Umair Mina. Our next award is for Mr. and Miss Perfect 10. 
This goes to the contestant that seems to be perfect in every way. And the winner for this year Miss Perfect 10 award goes to... Any guesses? No? Miss! Miss! Ramina Ashwak! And the winner of this year's Mr. Perfect 10 goes to Faisal Hussain. Our next award is for Mr. and Ms. Photogenic. This goes to the contestant that clearly never fails to look flawless in each and every shot. And the winner for this year's Miss Photogenic is Layla Z. And the winner for Mr. Photogenic Award is... Faisal Hussain! And finally, the award for Mr. and Miss Popularity. This award goes to the contestant that has charmed their way into the hearts of their fellow contestants. This award was voted upon by the contestants themselves. So this year, the, so this year the winners of the Mr. and Miss per, uh, Popularity are... Madhya Iqbal and Janae Bhatt. Thank you, Janela Madia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, the top five contestants will be chosen in the categories of Miss Pakistan World and Mr. Pakistan World. Contestants, as we announce your name, please step forward to the front of the stage. In no particular order, the first position for Mr. Pakistan World goes to... Omar Saeed. The first position for Miss Pakistan World goes to... Madhya Iqbal. The second position for Mr. Pakistan World goes to... Faisal Hussain. And the second position for Miss Pakistan World goes to... Ramina Ashwak. The next position for Mr. Pakistan World goes to... Saram Jaffrey! And the third position for Miss Pakistan World goes to... Aruba Mansoor! And our fourth position for Mr. Pakistan World goes to... Come on, let's hear it for Junaid Bhatt! <laughs> and the fourth position for Miss Pakistan World goes to... Sobia Jalani! <laughs> and finally, the last spot in the top five for Mr. Pakistan World goes to... You guys nervous? <laughs> Ayman Surti! And the final position for Miss Pakistan World goes to... Layla Z. At this time, we'd like to thank all our contestants here tonight and say that they've all been winners. 
The hard work, dedication, and energy you've put in throughout the week preparing for the event tonight so shows just how far each of you will go. So hold your heads up high as you leave the stage. And can we please get a round of applause for all of our contestants tonight.
we are now going to continue on with the question and answer segment. Good evening. My question to you is, what is the difference between a girlfriend and a wife? How do you differentiate? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. Thank you for the question. The difference between a wife and a girlfriend is, for in my point of view, a wife is something that you can always count on. You can be in your house, you can be reliable on. Where the girlfriend is, you're not always sure about. I, I don't mean to judge anyone here, but that's just, everyone has different thought of explaining it, right? That's my point of view, but wife is a wife, right? You can always be there for her. That's it, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. Our next contestant is Faisal Hossein. And Faisal, you have been paired with Judge Badul Jima. Good evening, Faisal. How are you? Good evening, honorable judges. Good evening, Badul. I'm doing good. How are you? Good, thank you. So my question for you is, what are the best two things men can learn from women and why? The best two things a man can learn from a woman is patience, because she has a lot of it when she has to go from being a someone's daughter, to someone's wife, to a mother, to a grandmother, and taking care of everything. And second thing I can learn from a woman is her dedication and her passion. If she has something in her mind, she's going after it. And that is something I man can learn. Um, thank you. Our next contestant is Saram Jaffrey. And Saram, you have been paired with Judge Shanaz Suhani. Go, Saram! Hi, Saram. Hi. Uh, my question to you is, if you win the title today, Will you later be appearing in, uh, in public uh, as Mr. Mr. Pakistan? If you encounter a group of people who do not support pageantry, what would you tell them? Uh, can you repeat the question I can? Okay, Mr. so you would, supposing you won the title today, mm -hmm. you would be titled, you would win the title of Mr. Pakistan. For What would you say to people who, who, have, who have told you originally that they oppose pageantry or contests? Okay. Uh, thank you for the question and uh, <clears throat> I would say, I, I always say this that uh, uh, having a pageant show is uh, kind of kind of form of uh, presenting art in a way, right? So I, I'm an artist myself, I consider myself an artist and I always support art uh, so uh, people who oppose uh, such events uh, I would like to tell them, you know, this is, uh, this is a form of art so and art Art needs to be supported. So that's how I would, if I won the title and I would, I'm Mr. Pakistan, I would try to promote uh, promote art and this uh, pageant says as well because it's a form of art for me. Thank you. And our next contestant is Junaid Butt. And Junaid, you have been paired with Judge Ila Prambat. Hi, how are you? Good, Jaren. How are you? I'm well. Hi. My question to you is, tell me your one weakness and what would you do to fix it? Or what, or what are you doing to fix it? Thank you. Uh, also, I just want to say good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges. Uh, thank you so much for that wonderful question, Leela. Strengths and weaknesses are something that everyone has. I do consider strengths a really important thing to have, but no one has a weakness. It's not a weakness, it is an opportunity. An opportunity to learn, to grow from it. Failure is the essence of learning. And my weakness, I would say, is it's really difficult for me to say no, no to people. I believe I care for people a lot, and I always say yes to them. But with time, I've told people the reality. If I cannot help them out in a situation, I will let them know. 
and offer them other help. And that is what I've been doing in my present times and what I will be doing in the future. Thank you so much, Lula. Have a good night. And finally, we have contestant Eman Surti. And Eman, you are paired with Judge Bhavan Manga. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges. My question to you is, tell me one of your strongest point and one of your weakest point. One of my strongest points is that if you were to ask anyone, what's your biggest fear? Now, there's a, there's a statistic recently, it was published, it said that 98% of the population's greatest fear is public speaking. Now, for me, that's not really been a fear because I've had to travel all over the world growing up. And if I were to not get out of my comfort zone and interact with new people, I'd be alone. So that's something that life taught me. And that's why I'm not afraid to get out there and put myself out there. As far as my greatest weakness goes, I have to say that I tend to get too emotionally attached to people and objects, as well as, you know, I tend to think back and be like, oh, things were so good in the past and I wish I could go back, as opposed to at times just having a positive outlook at all times and being like, okay, the future has something better in store for me. So that would have to be my greatest weakness. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now on to the ladies. Our first contestant is Medea Iqbal. And Medea, you have been paired with Judge Bhavan Manga. Good evening, judges. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can you describe yourself in one word? Describe myself in one word. Just one word, no sentence. <laughs> Um, I think the best word to describe me in one word would have to be loyalty because I am a very loyal and honest person and I always support my family and friends so I know where loyalty really lies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next contestant is contestant Ramina Ashfa and Ramina, you've been paired with Badul Jima. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and honorable judges. Good evening, Romina, who's perfect as well. So my question for you is, what is the best quality a father can share with his daughter? Thank you for the question, Batul. I would say that the best quality a father can provide to his daughter is unconditional love, because with that unconditional love, he can help grow that little girl into a strong, loving, empowered woman. Thank you. Thank you. And our next contestant is Aruba Mansoor. And Aruba, you have been paired with Judge Shana Savani. Good evening. Hi, Aruba. Um, if you should win a title and if it happened that your parents opposed it in the beginning, what would you have to take, say to them? Thank you for the question, honorable judges. If my parents opposed to me originally, I would like to first explain to them why this is important to me, why this is important overall, the benefits of a person doing this, why we should do talents like this, why we need to put people in front of others and allow themselves to have a platform where they can speak and show themselves. And um, I would like to convince my parents to allow me to do this. And once they have been convinced and agree and allow me, then I would like to join in and continue in Ms. Pakistan. Thank you, everyone. Next, we have Sobia Jilani. And Sobia, you've been paired with Judge Ila Rampa. Good evening, judges and ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Shobhya. Uh, my question to you is, if for one day, everything that is considered illegal becomes legal, what's the one thing would you do? What would you do? If something that was illegal was legal for one day, I would most likely rob a bank. <laughs> Although with the money, I know most people would assume that I would 
go shopping and buy things. I would rather donate it to any type of charity to support hunger, abused women and children, and make sure that all the money is supported to a good cause. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, we have contestant Laila Z. And Laila, you have been paired with Judge Pavan Wanga. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Mr. Pavan. My question to you is, suppose you win a 50 million lottery, lot of max, what you are going to do with this money? Okay. If I win the lottery, first I will do lots of shopping, traveling, <laughs> and then I will give it to charity, which I really want to do that. Thank you.
Uh, first of all, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges. Um, on behalf of everyone, welcome to Mr. and Ms. Pakistan 2016. Um, it was an ex amazing experience. The whole full year got a lot of opportunities uh, in terms of media, in terms of going out and approaching different events from different countries, uh, whether it's a Hindu based association or Christian based association. All these communities, schools, universities, where they have different events, charity based events, to go there and uh, be proud to represent Pakistan, talk about our culture, and uh, being able to be uh, representing Pakistan the whole year. And the journey doesn't stop here. Uh, there's gonna be new Mr. Pakistan coming here uh, tonight, but this is an important uh, time for all of us uh, to be uh, here, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Thank you so much.
Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have made their decisions. We will be announcing the runner-ups in reverse order and finally the winner of Mr. and Miss Pakistan 2016. At this time, Hassan, Patti and Iftigar Khan will be presenting the winners with their sashes. And the fourth runner-up for Mr. Pakistan 2016 is Ayman Surti. <laughs> And the fourth runner-up for Miss Pakistan 2016 is Layla Z. And the third runner-up for Mr. Pakistan World 2016 is Saram Jaffrey. Miss Pakistan World 2016 is Sobia Jelani. And the second runner-up for Mr. Pakistan World 2016 is Omer Saeed. And the second runner-up for Miss Pakistan World 2015 is Aruba Manzoor. At this time, may we please ask the last two remaining contestants in each category to the front of the stage. And the title of Mr. Pakistan 2016 is... Guesses? Guesses? Give it up for Junaid Buck! of Miss Pakistan World 2016 is Ramina Ashfaq. Let's not forget our first runner up for Mr. Pakistan World 2016, Faisal Hussain. And our first runner up for Miss Pakistan World 2016, Matia. Thank you, audience, for being such a wonderful audience. Um, thank you to the organizers of the show, the sponsors, and of course, my wonderful co-host. See you next year for an even more spectacular event from Toronto, Canada. Have a good night.
Let me hear you some claps. Come on, Toronto! Louder! Oh, the 
Toronto. Thank you. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.